Phil? Huge congratulations. I think every Manchester City fan is going to be absolutely buzzing with this news. For someone who's been here for, for so many years and is a lifelong City fan, this must be a very proud moment for you and your family. Definitely, extremely proud moment for me and my family. Um, obviously being a massive City fan myself and coming through the academy and to extend my stay here is all I've ever dreamed of. Was this an easy decision for you to make to, to extend your contract? I think it was, the way that the team is progressing, the way we're playing football. Um, I'm happy here, so, so definitely, yeah. You've come through every level of City's academy and we play the, the same formation, the fa same style right across every age group. How much has that system, do you think, helped you prepare for life in, in the senior team here? I think it's definitely helped. Um, I've had so many great coaches in the academy um, playing great football, so it's definitely helped me progress in the first team. I was going to mention that. You've worked with so many of different coaches who I'm sure have really helped you along the way. Are there any that you feel played a particularly significant role in your development here? I wouldn't like to say one, you know, could it be a bit of tight on, tight on the others, but everyone helped me in, in, their, in their own way and helped me become the player I am today. Who was your favourite City player when you started watching as a fan? Um, I always loved David Silva. Um, every time I watched him play, um, I enjoyed him. Um, and wanted to just be like him. Jack Grealish told us that he thinks you've got the uh, the best touch he's ever seen. In fact, he, I think he said it was the best touch in, in football. <laughs> you and me, yeah. Um, we've got some footage of, of you as, as a young kid. You also had a great touch then. Is that kind of something you've always had a natural feel for a football or have you had to work hard actually to develop that touch? I think it's just playing football every single day from when I was a kid. Um, anywhere I can, just practicing my touch against the wall. Um, it's just definitely helped me progress and definitely helped me touch on. We looked at your stats this morning, season on season, and basically the pattern is that you're just getting better every single season. What do you put that improvement down to? Um, it's getting more mature, more older, understanding the game a bit more, um, all, that thing, all them things together. Um, and this year I think I'm scoring a lot more goals, so hopefully I can keep going in that direction. I think there's a feeling amongst a lot of City fans that if you keep developing the way that you are, you could actually end up being the club's greatest ever player. Do you set yourself any targets across your career? Are there any things that you really want to achieve? I don't like to put too much pressure on myself. Um, obviously, I have little goals in my head, but I try not to think too, too much about them because sometimes it can make you try too hard. So I just try to keep focused and keep performing on the pitch. What about Pep and his influence? I think. There's a lot of people who say who think his tactics are really detailed, but every player that I speak to sort of says he makes the game really simple. How do you find his his management style? Amazing, you know, unbelievable. I think he's made me ten times the player I was. Um, yeah, he's improved all aspects of my game, and and, and yeah, just thankful to have him here, um, enjoying my football with him. You've already won four Premier League titles, you've got 11 major trophies uh, in total and there's clearly a hunger for, for a lot more. I, I sense that from you all the time. Where does that drive and that determination come from? I think just for myself, my determination to always want to win. I think I've always been like that since young. Anything I, I play, I always want to win, so I think it just comes from myself and inside. You were born and bred in Stockport, of course, and I think that's created a bit of a bond between you and the, and the City fans, well actually a really strong bond between you and the City fans. How much does their support and, and backing mean to you so far on your, on your journey here at City? Massively, you know, it gives me the confidence um, when I score a goal or do something well um, and they sing my name, um, yeah, it makes me feel comfortable and want to keep doing better for them. Obviously we've talked about your development as a, as a player over the last few years, but what about as a person? How much do you think you've developed as a person here at City? Um, I think not just myself, you know, we have such a great team, everyone's together, um, we all fight for each other on the pitch and it's just really healthy at the moment. Um, yeah, and everyone's trying to do the best they can. Yeah, I was going to touch upon that, the, the, the spirit in this squad seems like, you know, one of the best we've, we've ever had here, if not the best. Just describe to us that bond in the dressing room and how important that is actually to, to creating success. I think it's massively important, you know. Um, you put all the best players in a team, they're not necessarily going to win. Um, 
you know, that togetherness when things are not going so well. How you fight for each other can be more important than anything else. So I think our team definitely has that and, and it's good. In terms of your position, you're described as being very versatile. I think Pep said recently you can play in pretty much any of those from six positions. Is that something you like at the moment or are you, have you got one eye on having a specialist role at some point in the future? Um, like at the moment, I enjoy playing off the right and the left. Um, my preferred position is obviously midfield, but like I said, I can, I can do them other jobs as well. And it's just nice to know that you can play different positions and do a job for the team. We know you love your fishing and, and it helps you to relax away from the pitch. Does, does that help your football as well, do you think, being able to get away from things? Definitely, it's so relaxing. I can reflect on the games at fishing as well. So, yeah, it definitely just keeps me relaxed and my feet on the ground. And what about being a dad? Um, how much does that help you, do you think, with, the, with your football? Keeps you grounded? Definitely, it keeps me inside um, to be a parent. And like I said, it just links together, keeping my feet on the ground. You've wore number 47 shirt throughout your entire time at City. Um, would you ever change that number, do you think? Or are you wedded to that now? I mean, that's a part of me, 47. Um, I always see the number everywhere and, yeah, I, I love it a lot. But, yeah, you never know. It's an opportunity to take another number. We'll, we'll see. And as a midfielder, you get great protection from, from Rodri behind you. How important is somebody like him in allowing a player with your creative ability to the licence to just go and wreak havoc? I think it goes unnoticed with a player like Rodri, what he does for the team. Because <clears throat> we have so many goal scorers, um, a player like him is so important. He breaks the play up, he's so good on the ball. I can see his long range shootings there as well, so he's so important for the team and definitely helps all the players up the pitch play a lot better. Who do you think is the best player you've played with since you became a senior player here at City? That's so hard to say. Um, I have so many favourites, but um, I love obviously David Silva, Bernardo and Kev. I think they're my favourite three. Um, I enjoy playing with the most. You've achieved so much already. It's, it's very easy to forget that you're only 22. I mean, how much more do you think there is to come from, from you as a player? Um, such an easy thing to say, but a lot more. I feel like I um, can add a lot more goals and hopefully this season I seem to do that. So hopefully I can keep going down that, that road. And I've got to ask you as well about the hat-trick in the derby. As a City fan, just try to explain to us, us other City fans who will never have the opportunity to do that, how does that feel? I don't think anything beats it. Um, yeah, it's definitely been one of my favourite moments in my career. Um, you know, my friends used to always have jokes with me saying you could score a hat-trick in the derby one day and then eventually did it, so yeah, it's a special moment for me. And finally, do you have a message for the City fans who have supported you throughout your time and will continue to do so? Yeah, um, thanks a lot for always supporting me and having my back. Hopefully I can perform on the pitch um, and hopefully win a lot of trophies with this club. So, yeah, thanks a lot. Phil Foden, congratulations on your new contract and good luck for the rest of your time here. Thank you. Cheers.